I'm Barbara Gellhorn. I'm Peter Gellhorn's daughter. I'm very happy to be here in Ramsey, seeing where he stayed. And the thing I remember most clearly is him talking about looking up at the hill and not being able to go there. And how they, all they wanted to do was just walk on that hill because they, they couldn't go there. So we did, after visiting here, go and walk on the hill and have a picnic up there. So he did get to walk up there. And hearing the music written here, especially with that text of the poem about Morak, uh, is really moving to hear how he could feel that and, and, and eventually in his life come back to going up there. It's also very wonderful to hear his music played here when it hasn't been heard for a very, very long time. And I could really imagine him in one of the rooms in the boarding house, sitting seriously, thinking about writing it and then hearing it now. I he heard it now, the string quartet play his music and it felt like he was here, you know. It was a really creative time for him and a really amazing experience in the sense that there were all these incredible people all together and so they made the best of it and made music and theatre and art and it was wonderful to be here, yeah. I think he didn't ever complain about what had happened to him in terms of politics or whatever. He never blamed anybody for the fact that he had to emigrate, for the fact, you know, he had to escape, he couldn't work at home. And really, in many ways, his life was, was totally thrown upside down by that. Although I know that he couldn't wait to get out, to get on with his work, you know, get on with his life. When he came back, he worked at Sadler's Wells and then at Covent Garden. He was conductor and chorus master under Rankle. And then he worked at Glyndebourne during the 50s. Then he was chorus master of the BBC Chorus, which has since become the BBC Singers. Um, and he always coached singers, played recitals, did uh, music festivals here, there and everywhere, ran workshop weekends, ran the local amateur choir. I and mean, he went on doing recitals till... He was 91. He didn't stop until he stopped. <laughs>